Welcome back everybody, Max Knight here, playing some more Shining Force. And, um, there's not a whole lot... I'm just gonna say this, is that this video doesn't accomplish a lot. I mean, it... Yeah, we managed to get most of the enemies, uh, beat. Leaving just those last three across the river. It takes a long time from the point where you start out in this map to finish. Simply because just because of the fact that it's just so much bad terrain. I mean, I admittedly, I don't, like, try to rush my way through things very often, but in this case, I might have been okay if I had hung back and allowed everyone to catch up. Especially Tao, who's going to be very behind at uh, by the end of this, this particular map. She's still level 1, and she's going to still be level 1. And additionally... Um, at least she'll be level 1 up to a certain point, I should say. Like, I might... She might wind up getting some experience uh, in the next video. I don't know, because I haven't, you know, made it yet. But, uh, in general, the only person who's going to be at level 3, I believe, is Hans. Which is really too bad, because the level he got sucked. Like, really bad. But, then again, Hans sucks. It's an unfortunate truth. I wish he didn't. I like my archers. Just... just... the. But I like the way I handled these goblins, at least. I mean, I didn't try to, like, overkill with one character on them all over the place. I just kinda... Because they're not dangerous. There's, like, one person in the forest that gets hurt really badly by them. And here in a moment, you know, someone who was getting hurt by them barely touch them is going to be really good. And by really good, I mean he'll finally be on par with everyone else. You know, Gong's sprite is really ridiculous looking. I mean, why does he have all that... Why does he have that pack on his back? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Everyone else doesn't need a pack, and yet he can't hold any more than anybody else. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Only two HP damage left to do, and look at that, he can deadly attack for four damage. But this gets him a level with gets him three points of attack! And also one point of MP. Now, I had to verify this, because I wasn't sure, but when you look at his stats... One more point of MP means that he can cast heal three times at the beginning of the next battle. Which is pretty amazing, actually. Luke getting the double attack there. Not bad. And with them out of the bad terrain, Hans is finally able to do five damage to them again. So, eh, I mean, I'm not gonna... It's just... yeah. I, I can't explain it. Poor Low. He can't do anything. And healing won't do anything unless he's actually, you know... Healing something? I mean, I guess that makes sense. But still. And I had to look again, because I had to see Gong's attack is now 14. The same as Hans, the same as Luke, and now he's better than Ken. Not bad. Of course, Max has the highest uh, attack right now. I think he managed to get a point from his one level he got so far, which is not bad. Ken below average, as usual. Not... Uh, this game, the, the way that it handles the numbers is really just kind of... It's kind of frustrating. Because they're just so random. I mean, yeah. Some things are gonna be for sure. You know... You see how much damage you do one time, it's not gonna have a lot of variation. But the thing is... Just like, like the stats you gain literally can be anywhere from 0 to 10, I believe. Which is kind of good and kind of not. 
it's just it's so random and I don't, I don't know whether I'm a big fan of that or not. I don't really don't think I am. But now Gong can finally deal some decent damage. And of course, getting as much experience with Hans as possible here. Because honestly, the only thing going for him is actually earning levels. So, meh. Eh. No, go in there. Get the smack down on that goblin. I was hoping he would kill the goblin, but he only does two damage. Which is kind of disappointing. Dark Dwarf doing some damage to Gong, which is okay. I don't mind that, because I'll be getting Gong healed in a moment anyways. Move down and start the attack on the Dark Dwarf because that's a smart thing to do. The sooner we can get rid of it, the better. Even though Ken can't hardly do any damage. Eh. That's funny. I decided to take out the, um, take out the goblin, just because. Some easy experience for Hans. Easy experience that gets him a level, and two speed! Whoa. Such amazing level up gains. So, more experience for, uh, for Gong, who can easily take out the Dark Dwarf. Not enough for another level, though, unfortunately. And we're, what's really sad is that in the next three minutes, the only thing we're going to do is beat that next Dark Dwarf. And I wanted Tao to get up here. I really wanted her to get, you know, in range to attack this thing with Blaze. Yeah. Eh. Some healing experience here. Eh, 11 points is bad. And Luke kind of needs healing now, too. There's not a whole lot to talk about here. And I don't feel like talking about anything else, either. Which is kind of unfortunate. Felt no reason to move him. Ooh, ooh, I'm so scared. Hit me for four damage. Or three, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll just kill this guy and spend the entire rest of the time just slowly moving forward, letting some people get uh, caught up. Basically, all I'm doing. And also healing uh, Luke, because I can, with Gong. Nothing else he was really doing. I suppose I could have let uh, Lo get that experience, but I didn't really think too much about it. Did not care. Oh, I wish I wasn't this tired. Or more specifically, I wish that I was this tired but was allowed to go to sleep. But if I do that, I won't wake up. It's time to go to work. Which really is not good. 
just kind of leaving everyone there. I want to have to catch up. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and also healing. I suppose that's right. He did need the healing too, didn't he? Still not enough for a level. Oh boy. In comparison, Shining Force has always been the more boring game of the two. At least I've always thought it was. But, nah. When we come back to this, guys, we'll be finishing this battle and finding out what happened over it. At Guardi Guardiana? Is that what it was called? I believe so, yeah. So, see ya.